When we plant the kalo, um, it gets real tall and then it starts to shrink down and the makua starts to rise out of the ground. Um, so when we go through here, we're going to be pulling out the, the mama, the makua, and we're going to leave the ohas behind. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Howard Punanui. Born and raised from Puna, actually Opihikau. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we were taught when we were young. But anyway, so when we hook in the taro, we go all the way down to the base and we hook it like that. Okay. okay. Then we separate all the cake. So that's how we do it. This one here is EO, okay? EO means ready, okay? So, and what we're doing is we pulling it the right time. How you can tell that we pulling it the right time is the bottle. If we waited too long, the bottle will be palahu, spoiled. That means you pass the time, okay? And when you pass the time is what you also known as loli loli in our term. So this is perfect, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna hook it all the mamas and then we're gonna put them inside these wheelbarrows or this cart. And then we're gonna bring it over there on top of the tarp. And from there, we're gonna clean and then open the huli, okay? So for now, we just going to do all of the mana ulu, okay? Then afterwards, we're gonna move to the other varieties. Is there any questions? Okay, because the babies are small yet. What we were told is this one, you let it go, okay? And you get the opala. After we open all this rubbish, the roots and whatnot, or even mulch like the old leaves, banana leaves, you throw on top and you cover. That way, it doesn't dry up, so it will keep on growing. So you can wait like so, okay? Leave them like that because it will keep on growing. Then you can come back in about two months or so, then you can check, okay? All these big ones, that's what we call the pu'u. And this one here is the best pu'u you make. The reason why is the pu'u, the baby, is hard. So when you kuhi time, it's hard. So when it's hard like that, you got to add more water so that it's easy for you to eat the pu'u. Okay, so this is what... My tutus always say the pu'u is the best boy. Okay. But uncle, when we look at the kalo after we plant them, sometimes the thing gets real tall. Is that the right time to pick? How do we know when's the right time? When, you said it's eo. How do you know just looking at the plant? Okay. When it's eo time, you're going to notice when you guys come inside here and hook it, the mama okay will protrude out of the brow it will expose itself okay that's how you can tell sometimes because of how you plant your holy sometimes you poke them deep inside that when it kind of eo or ready for hooky even if it doesn't expose itself it doesn't mean that it's not ready 
it's because of how you planted your huli. Sometimes you stick them too far down, so it takes more effort to protrude itself from the ground. So usually when it's all die back like this, where the huli is down, this means all of them needs to be pulled already. Because it's when you planted all of this taro at the same time. Okay? And Uncle, when we planted, about how long would it take for this one to, to become evil? Okay, this one here takes nine months. Okay, now, nine months is the normal for a manaulu. But, okay, this is the key, but all depends on your weather. If the weather is hot and dry, he going to eat all faster. Because why? It's going to stop growing the taro and it's going to start to die back. So, as you plant taro and you watch it, every year after year after year you gonna notice that okay this is not where overnight you will learn no it's over time it takes time just like anything else it takes time well before days okay we kept all the huli even the makua because the huli was precious Nowadays, people say, oh, once you pull the makua, that's it. They no use that. But in our time, no. You no waste fully. You plant everything. This is, this is not only one way to do things. So if you guys have manao from you guys, Ohana, and you guys, you know, talking story, please share. That's all. It's all good. Okay? It's all good. Um, yeah. Sometimes we pull all, all the babies on the side too because you, you want to make more poi, yeah? So this is just another way because there's so much, we're going to just process the, the mamas and then leave the rest. So it's almost like the old days is our ice box, yeah? You just pull what you need and then you can, that's going to be an, almost like another hooky another time. The, the purpose of this is to share so that we all start growing more food at home. That's really the purpose. We got to get off of the supermarket and start being more self-sufficient. And that's what we're trying to learn from the old ways. So, so thankful everybody to be here.